हेलो हेलो हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू मी वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वी गुन सी प्रॉब्लम मिनिमम कॉस्ट टू मेक एरे आइडेंटिकल इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी नॉट वॉश्ड इट प्रॉब्लम थ्री विच इज अ स्पेशल प्रॉब्लम विच आई विल हाई रिकमेंड गो एंड सॉल्व इट नो मैट रो वट इज स्लाइडिंग विंडो ऑन ट्रीज दैट्स वन ऑफ अ काइंड एंड यू शुड नो इट ना इट सिंपली सेज दैट यू आर गिवन टू इंटीजर्स एरेज ए आर आर एंड बी आर आर एज यू कैन सी यू आर गिवन टू इंटीजर आर एज ए आर आर एंड बी आर आर एंड एन इंटीजर के नाउ यू कैन परफॉर्म द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन ऑन दी आर ए एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स वॉट इज दिस ऑपरेशन द ऑपरेशन इज स्प्लिट दी आर ए ए आर आर इन टू एनी नंबर ऑफ कंटिन्यूस सब आर एज एंड रीअरेंजिंग दीज सब आर एज इन एनी ऑर्डर अगेन प्राइमरली फोकस ऑन दिस लाइन बिकॉज दिस इज अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन and then the other operation is that i can choose any element in arr and add or subtract any positive integer x to it the cost of this operation is x okay i have to return the minimum total cost to make arr equal to brr and again they have revision what a sub array is now if you focus on the first statement very carefully it simply says that you are given minus 795 right and let's say if i ask you one very basic stuff let's say this is arr let's say this is brr which is 7 minus 2 minus 5 forget about brr for now if i ask you the first operation split the array arr into any number of continuous sub arrays and rearrange these sub arrays in any order possible what can you infer with this line it me simply means that i can Split this specific ARR into any number of sub arrays. Here you can see this is one, this is another, or it can be this, or it can be this, or this, or it can be this. Now I can now rearrange it. That if I want to place minus seven first, okay, then five first, okay, then nine first, okay, or let's say if I want to place nine first, minus seven five, then. Can't I simply say this that because I can split my error into any number into any number, which means I will always try to split it in length of ones because length of ones are highly independent of each other, which means that I can always order them as I want. I again they are not dependent upon each other anyway. Which means if this would have been there, then okay, nine five will come together. No, now they are independent. I can also have it something of this sort. So the first point will simply say me that I can order my ARR elements in any order possible. Okay, now imagine that you have the liberty to make elements in any order, and you have to convert it to a target array, which is BRR. forget about the array let's say if i give you two elements if i give you 5 and 9 if i give you that if you you have to convert 5 to 9 then what you will do obviously you will add a plus 4 and that is nothing but your plus x as the cost now if i if let's say i add another element let's say if i say 10 and then if i say 10 and then let's say 6 Right then, will you say okay? I mean, I will convert five to nine, which is by adding a plus four, and then I will convert ten to six by subtracting a minus four. But for me, the score will be always a positive x. So this will will give me a score of positive of four. So total score will be nothing but a eight. Is it is it actually good? No, obviously not, because five is already close to six. So technically, I should convert my five to six by adding a plus one. And nine is close to ten, so I should convert my ten to nine, which is by adding minus one. But still, the score will be plus one, so the cost will be two. What did you understand from this specific relation? We simply understood that a smaller element should should be converted to a smaller element, which means I can simply convert small to small, large to large, larger to larger, largest to largest, like this. 
which ultimately means it is always beneficial that I will sort my input array again. Why I can sort it? Because I can independently place any element at any location. So I can simply sort it. So I will simply sort minus 7, 5 and 9. And I will also sort my this specific array which is uh, minus 5, minus 2 and 7. Now, if I show back one very basic thing, they have represented that splitting ARR into any number of continuous subarrays. This operation which we did, which means this operation of rearranging it to any elements whatsoever required, this specific arrangement will cost a fixed cost of k. So technically, one cost is the conversion cost, which is okay. But this sorting cost now also will give a extra headache of cost of k. But we realize it is always beneficial to sort it. Again, they can be a specific case, but let's see. So far, it seems like it is always beneficial to sort it. Let's see if I sort it. Then now I need to convert minus 7 to minus 5, just a cost of 2. 5 to minus 2, a cost of 7. 9 to 7, a cost of 2. So, I realized the cost entirely, again, okay, uh, minus 7 to minus 5, the cost should be 2, 5 to minus 2, the cost should be, yeah, minus 2, and then 9 to 7, the cost will be 2. So, to, total cost is 7 plus 4, which is 11, but also a cost of k will be added because of sorting. So, the cost of k will be nothing but plus 2, which is the cost of k, so the total cost is 13. It is a 13. Now, you might say, Aryan, it seems very much good that I will always sort it. I will get this in the ascending order and ultimately I will sort my target also, get this also in ascending order and then simply convert it. So, obviously, for array, ARR, BRR, I will have this conversion. I will get it caught and I will simply add a plus K. That seems good. But I might ask you one very basic thing. What if... You don't sort it. If you get me the cost, what will be the cost? Let's see. From minus 7 to plus 7. Okay. Add a plus 7. 0 plus 7, 4. Cost 14. This, this will have a cost of 14. To get 9 to minus 2, cost will be minus 7. Or I should say plus 11. And then from here to here, cost will be 10. So if I just add it, it will be 35. Now, you might challenge. It is much beneficial, right? No. Technically, you added a plus k. What if the k here would have been 1000? Then obviously, it would have been much better to don't, to not rearrange this at all. Obviously, when I say rearrange, I will always rearrange it in the ascending order. So as to match exactly smaller to smaller. But there's always also one case that because it is giving me extra cost of k, what if I don't even rearrange at all? Which means I don't even use the first operation at all. In that scenario, I will have the default cost. So, the answer now lies, either I will have the default cost, which means the cost of conversion of the elements at their corresponding locations, or I will simply sort both of them. Again, the sorting of BRR doesn't mean anything per se, but it is just to get in the smaller to smaller, medium to medium, higher to higher, and largest to largest in the same order. But sorting ARR will give me or will take a cost of K and that I will simply add in my corresponding cost, whichever is giving me minimum, that is my answer. And that is the entire crust of this problem, which means that I will find the direct cost, which means the direct conversion cost from ARR to BRR. And what is the cost if I sort it? Because if I sort it, by default, the cost of K will already be there. And then I will simply get the new rearranged cost. And whatever is minimum, the corresponding direct cost or the rearranged cost, that will be my answer. Now, the time, because we did a sorting, will be O of n log n. And again, space, because of sorting itself, for Java and C++, the space will be log n. And for Python, the space will be n. Cool. I hope you guys got it. Again, it is more of an observation-based problem rather than any, uh, you know, mathematics or data structure problem. But yeah, I hope you guys got it. Bye-bye. Take care.